What's up everybody, on this episode of Turk, we're here in a beautiful Pacific Northwest where I'm gonna be bringing you to Seattle to show you my day job being a professional Formula Drift driver at round five of Formula Drift. After that, I'm gonna round up a bunch of Formula D drivers, head down to Portland at Pat's Acres Racing Complex and have a drift jam. But first, I'm gonna go home my all-wheel driving skills at Dirtfish Rally School. So we're here at Dirtfish Rally School just outside of Seattle in Snoqualmie, Washington. We just checked out the entire facility. The place looks absolutely unbelievable. They're gonna give me one of their Subaru STI school cars to drive and just shred this place to pieces. But first, I need a little refresher course. So we're gonna get some instructions. We got the boring classroom stuff out of the way. I got my instructor Winston Duart here who is going to show me the ropes before I hop behind the wheel and start shredding. into the corner, turning away, lifting off, turning in, brake on, turning back, release the brake quickly and it will hopefully begin to turn the direction you want. At that point, just unwind and add a little power to end the turn. Don't keep it going. Copy that. We're not drifting. <laughs> <laughs> Winston, thanks for the killer coaching. I felt like I started to get it at the end, just starting to get a little bit more comfortable, but how do you think I did? Eh, not too bad for a drifter. You're not gonna kill anybody, so if you're ready, let's go on to the big boy stuff. Let's do it. Today was awesome. Winston, thank you very much for uh, teaching me what I was doing wrong the entire time and just showing me the ropes. It's not wrong, it's different. You know, you guys like to be backwards everywhere. Sideways is cool, but within reason. You gotta be straight to go fast. Exactly. <laughs> you can come here for a half day for a few hundred bucks, all the way up to a full three day course. That's super intense rally training that will get you some good experience. Winston, thanks again, man. I appreciate it. Hell yeah. Oh, by the way, you gotta clean this though. Lock up when you're done. <laughs> Qualifying went well. We're sitting fifth. I tied up my homie Forsberg, but he ended up beating us in a tiebreaker. Just out here signing some autographs for the fans. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
So we're here in the team hauler. Uh, it's a little busy right now. The guys are just thrashing on the car, trying to get it ready for top 16. Let me just take you on a little tour here. This is uh, where a lot of the spare parts go and all these bins for the car. A lot of uh, just silicone, nuts and bolts, zip ties, computers to tune the cars, fuel down here. Upstairs is the lounge area. So my brother's hanging out. He's supposed to be my uh, spotter and changing hey. tires and all that. He's just doing nothing. This is the pit area. It's busy. There's a lot of friends and family here. My teammate, Matt Coffin, right here. How's it going? Who just gave Forsberg a killer run for his money. This is Dee and Debbie. The two women behind the scenes feeding us and taking care of us all weekend, which is phenomenal. The crew, Biddy's getting, getting stuff done. We got Jason, I don't know, having conversations, not doing much. Now we're going to step outside to the Network A booth, do some autographs for the fans. Usually we have umbrella girls, but we got an umbrella doll. Good weekend, not the result I wanted, but had some killer battles with Kangushi. Now we're at my homie Chris Forsberg's rig, drinking some beers and partying like we always do. Now that the pressure's off, me and a bunch of the Formula Drift homies, gonna hit up Pat's Acres down in Portland, to have a drift jam. Four. 
Oh, I can do so much better than that. We got a tie right now, 34. Go, yeah, buddy. There's yeah. a Chris Pundo for you. Probably make it home now. Hell yeah. <laughs> Pretty good, so we're gonna see this motherfucker fly. All right, all right. all right, I zeroed out. I spun, so whatever. <laughs> Trying to give somebody else a hundred bucks anyway. Let's see what Forrest does here. This is his first lap. This is the first time drifting this turn right now. Forty nine ninety. Not bad. That was the best I've seen so far. I think he just set the uh, bar for the rest of the guys to try to beat right now. Measure it. Measure it. He hit it good, but. Ah, just totally whipped him. I don't think I could even kick that far, so I'm pretty excited about that. All right, I would be excited too. That's all. So I hit Chelsea, high sided on the rumble strip, and then got hit from the back and sandwiched. So now it looks like that. I don't know, I'm just doing my thing and all of a sudden I'm getting smashed in the rear door. Like, cause I was in my car, like, head on the seat, like, boom! Like, oh man. Worked out pretty good for me. I was in front, I was kinda in the safe zone. coming out. It's been a great show. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Yeah. We might have to do this again next year. Yeah. <laughs>